Hey guys, Mike Murphy here, the head coach at All Star CNC Products. Welcome back. Hopefully you've been enjoying some of our videos on tips and techniques uh, using gasketing to help better utilize the vacuum systems on your CNC routers. Uh, today we're going to tackle an issue that many people have problems with. They come to us holding small parts, uh, especially repetitive small parts with tight angles, small surface area. Customers coming to us with uh, difficulty holding those parts. In my opinion, the best way to do that is cover gasketing. Cover gasketing, great tool to make dedicated fixtures for repetitive parts, especially when those parts are small because we can really maximize the vacuum pocket area. Try to get that vacuum pocket as close to the tool path as we can because the tool path is what's really causing the force uh, out by the edge of the part. That's where the most torque is occurring. So if we can get that vacuum pocket as close as we can to the tool path, we're gonna have the most success in holding those parts. So let's take a look at a couple of techniques, see how we can do that. So as we look at cover gasketing here real quick, first thing we can do is take a look at how customer will apply this material. First thing they're gonna do is take their dedicated fixture, uh, which we like to typically recommend a non-porous material. Uh, in this case, they're using an HDPE board. You can see that with the white uh, material. Uh, HDPE will not leak vacuum through the tool channels or through the size of the boards. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is cover the entire fixture with that cover gasket material. Uh, so the entire board is a blank canvas, so to speak. Uh, then they're going to take that CAD program that you already have for that part, right? You can't cut the part until you've done the CAD program first. I uh, can't skip that step. Uh, so once the CAD program is created, we can cut that part directly into the gasket sheet, uh, downsize that uh, to the inside to create an interior cut, uh, and that allows us to remove the gasket material then from both the tool channel and the vacuum pocket area, essentially creating your own custom gasket die cut for the exact shape of your part. Uh, then because it is a non-porous board, a vacuum source hole per part to bring that vacuum from the grid system down below up to the part with a sealed edge allowing for that vacuum clamp that's so essential uh, to helping hold on to those parts. So what we can do is take a look at a customer uh, who has been uh, utilizing this program with, uh, with some success. Uh, he was out in Utah using a Biasi Rover, uh, cutting some thin plastic parts, uh, came to us trying to cut 180,000 of these parts, uh, really trying to do it in a single pass, right? No double cuts, no onion skins, no tab cuts, trying to get these parts done in a single pass, uh, also with a hole in the part, uh, which sometimes cause problems with vacuum source. So gasketing solution, we ended up going with a SBC CR0656, that's some of our cover gasket, see that here in a second. Uh, so what we did, cover the entire fixture with the cover gasket material that allows uh, that sealed surface uh, with a sealed edge. That gasket perimeter per part allows for that vacuum clamp to suck down on that part, prevent any air loss from occurring from underneath the part to create that true sealed edge. And then of course a vacuum source per part uh, to allow that vacuum to port up to the part. Uh, obviously the smaller the part, the more difficult it is to hold. These were extremely small parts, not only the small part, but also the hole at the top. Uh, we cannot compromise that vacuum chamber area with a hole in the middle so we need to account for that with gasket material so uh, once we have that hole in there we need to surround that with gasket area so when we make that hole we still have our vacuum clamp pocket uh, and then in this case we also have to make sure to keep on to our waste piece uh, don't want those parts flying off the table uh, so we have to port the vacuum to the part gasket sealed edge will hold on to those waste pieces as well uh, and then once we have that board properly created properly sealed, we can cut those parts in a single pass uh, one time around with the hole in the middle, so cutting finished parts, uh, really pounding out those parts much quicker than you would have without the board. Uh, so essentially ended up making nearly 200,000 of those parts this year, made a couple of jigs, dedicated fixtures, took a little time to make those boards, uh, but as he says, uh, the time saved in the long run and making those boards more than paid, made up for uh, the time invested in making them up. Uh, so to take a look at a few other fixtures over the years, some of the other benefits customers have told us uh, sometimes is the time saved in making some of these dedicated fixtures with the cover gasket material. Uh, sometimes the man hours uh, invested in gasketing uh, by hand for each of these parts can sometimes add up. So the cover gasket material, sometimes the, the router does a lot of that work itself with the CAD program uh, by basically just cutting out that gasket itself. Uh, also very customized 
customizable. Obviously, with uh, with a sheet of gasket, customers can allow uh, for their own creativity where they put the vacuum source hole, where the shims are going to be to keep that part flat, uh, what kind of area they're going to vacuum pocket for. So, uh, truly a customizable piece of material that uh, can maximize that surface area. Um, also, parts with holes. Uh, difficult sometimes to hold to keep that vacuum chamber area secured if you have a part with a lot of holes in it. Uh, so to be able to gasket around those holes, uh, very advantageous in creating that vacuum clamp, uh, allowing for maximum suction uh, with the vacuum system. Uh, some shims also allows again for maximum creativity, maximum um, ability to customize the gasket for the particular job that you have there in-house. So there you have it. There is a quick idea of why our customers over the years have utilized cover gasket to do those small repetitive parts with uh, the great deal of success that they've had. Uh, we will supply it to customers in three different manners. We have our spoil board covers, which are standard rolls on the shelf ready to ship, uh, typically enough material to do a standard fixture board for by a table. Uh, we can also give it to customers in what we call a zone board cover. Zone board cover, they'll tell us exactly how wide to cut it uh, to the inch to the millimeter, uh, a little longer in length, uh, typically for those customers who have gotten into a routine of doing the same part or the same fixture size over and over again a great option if you continue to use it uh, and then we can also give it to customers in a per foot length uh, or by the foot for the job so all different options are available uh, always to help maximize the vacuum pocket area so any questions give us a call 800-878-7827 or visit our website allstarcnc.com and we hope to hear from you soon thanks